G'day and welcome to Camper, coming to you this time from Land Cruiser Mountain Park, where we've teamed up with the crew from the Motorama 4x4x4 Club. These guys regularly get away to educate new drivers and challenge more experienced ones in environments where there is safety in numbers. On this trip, we're towing the Jayco Crosstrack, which the Everest is making light work of, and our destination inside this enormous park is Billabong Campground, high on a ridge with spectacular views. Billabong comes with showers and flushing loos too, so a stay up here is always pretty comfortable. Alban Perrett owns Land Cruiser and has arrived in camp to welcome us and say good day. So Alban Perrett, um, Land Cruiser Mountain Park, I mean, It'd take us all day to, to tell the story, but briefly, um, tell me the history of the place. Mate, I used to off-road race years ago and do a few rallies and stuff, and we used to have fun here on weekends, and a few mates come up, and then one of the mates wanted his parents to come camping, and they were in a four-wheel drive club, and then the club wanted to come camping, so they wanted to pay money, and then another club wanted to come because that club had come, so that's just how it started. Right. Like it's just, and then we got to the stage where there was so many clubs wanted to come, we decided we'd, we could probably make a business out of it. So, and that was 32 years ago. What makes it ideal for, for four-wheel drive clubs to come here? I guess the size of the place and the terrain? I think so. It, the, the terrain suits itself because it's fairly mountainous country. Um, there's a lot of creek crossings, um, beautiful camping areas along the creek. So I think it just, just suits that four-wheel drive market yeah. really well. And I guess, uh, you know, from entry-level four-wheel driving to sort of high-end, I mean, you've got winch challenges and all sorts of things going on here as well. Yeah, like the, from full comp trucks right through to just basic all-wheel drive cars, you yeah. know, like um, they can get to places in the park and there's something happening all the time, yeah. so there's always something to do. So everybody's welcome? Yes. Mm. And so we'll just go to the website and find all the information Just there. find all the information out from there, there's a booking form on there, yeah, or you can just ring up and book here, yeah. so it's pretty simple. Pay when you get here, so yeah. Mate, uh, you know, it has a, it has a, a wonderful history. Um, the heady days of mud balls and music. Yeah. Um, a lot of people remember that. How many of them happened? 14. Wow. 14. 2001 was the first one, and 2014 was the last one. And we just got older and lazier, and yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Mm. Um, great event, and it went out on a big high note. And If Land Cruiser Mountain Park's known for anything, it's its four-wheel drive tracks. And today, the Motorama crew have thrown me the keys to a new addition to their fleet, a Mazda BT-50. Brown's Plains Mazda is now part of the Motorama business, which means today we get to see how the BT-50 handles off-road. So what's happening here, cowboy? Uh, we're just making sure you pick the right line down yeah. here. Yeah. If you go too far offline, there is a hell of a steep drop and you'll stand it on its nose down at the other corner. Tanya Kerning and in a bit of trouble down there at the bottom of the gully. So uh, which way are we going to go? Practicing just to frighten you. <laughs> All right, so just straight over the edge. Yeah, mate. Same All line. Right. Fill okay. the sand on. No, don't go left. Same yeah. line. The same line. No, you're down right now. Straight. Righto. Straight. Righto. Go a bit of left down. A bit of left hand now? Yeah. Okay. We're going to slide over right, this little bump here. Thanks, now. Cheers. Okay, here we go. And once again... The mighty Mazda just handles it with ease. Doesn't it? All right, now we're going to go straight. Here we go. Because there are so many cars here this weekend with drivers of varying levels of off-road skill, the Motorama team have split the group into three. Green is novice, yellow intermediate and red being advanced. And the tracks that we take on will reflect that. We're taking it nice and easy today in the green group, which throws up one or two curly ones, but guides are on hand to show us where to put our front wheels. OK, so an opportunity to put the BT50 through its paces. Uh, Mazda have only joined the Motorama fleet through uh, Brown's Plains Mazda in the last couple of months. So this is my first time behind the wheel of one of these vehicles. Let's see how we go. Yeah, she goes all right. Yeah. 
I mentioned before that there's safety in numbers. This is an ideal situation to come out and educate yourself around you and your car's capabilities. And it's been a phenomenal success for Motorama, as Darren Johnson explains. Tell me a little bit about the club and how people can join. Yeah, so it's a Motorama group, um, obviously with Motorama 4x4, so it's um, anyone who purchases a vehicle with us um, throughout our three locations, so at Maruka, Springwood or Hillcrest, um, gets to join our club. So it's a, it's um, mainly done through our Facebook page, so yep. they just join our Facebook page, which is a closed group, um, or they can regularly service, so if they, you know, obviously there's been people that have um, had their vehicles already, but if they're regularly servicing with us and loyal customers, we invite them into the group as well. And quite a few of uh, the people that are here this weekend have never actually you know, been on a, on a bush track. Yeah. Um, and so there's a lot of instruction going on, a lot of guiding, a lot of caring for, for these people. And yeah, and that's really how the club came about because we were listening to our customers bring their cars back to trade them in and um, yeah, they had these massive big plans to go out and do this and that and the other and, and never actually got around to it. So that's why we thought that we really want to pitch to the beginner and bring them out here um, with the skills that we can teach them, hold their hand while they're doing that and guide them through. So, um, you know, we'd... we'd we do not only just four-wheel driving, but we also go down the caravanning track because as you look around us, there's a lot of people here towing big four-wheel drives and big caravans. So uh, we did a, a piece yesterday around caravanning and doing it safely and, um, and just talking about all those different weights. Yeah, you had a gentleman here yesterday, a set of scales to put the, the van and the car yeah. on the scales, so that was quite quite interesting, something that people probably never seen before. No, they, they don't, unless they pay a lot of money to get that done, so we invited him out. He's actually one of our customers, um, and he really, want, really wanted to come out and um, and educate the customer to say, this is how we do it, and just show the difference in, you know, by just moving a ball weight just slightly, how that distributes the uh, the weight from back to front, and, and uh, yeah, we had some, some good experiences yesterday. So you can have a bit of fun, but also learn a thing or two out here. Um, it seems massively successful, this thing. I mean, you, you've, well, you're always uh, oversubscribed as far as your trips go. You've got lots and lots of trips. Where do you go and what do you do? Um, so our big one that's really, really popular is Morton Island. Um, so everyone wants to go to Morton. And, and when we go back to that customer who brings their car back, they always say, oh, we bought the car to go to Morton. But we never went. So we can only put 22 cars on that. So we try and keep that for the very fresh um, member to take them over there and give them that experience. But we do everything from um, you know, here at Land Cruiser Park, Gordon Country, um, Scenic Rim, there's a, and a few other day trips to like Ballina and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, right. So you can bring your caravan if you want to. You can uh, learn a little bit about four wheel driving and you can get some information on, uh, on the right sort of vehicle uh, to tow your van as well. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we all work in the business. So we're not actually, um, you know, we're not from a different group that come in here and we just run this club. We actually all work in Motorama business. So um, we're educated on the cars um, and we're educated and trained on full driving. So those two together, we can educate the customer the best way we can. Yeah. After a challenging day on the park tracks, 5pm rolls around. Time to reflect and relax, tell tales about our experiences from the day and then prepare for an amazing camp oven dinner prepared expertly by our bush cook who clearly knows what he's doing. Yummo. Yeah, no, I really have. We've, uh, we went on the red red round, which was a little bit more uh, extreme, and uh, it was quite interesting in our car. Uh, I mean, it's not something I would have tried before uh, unless I had the support there of Motorama, so it was really good. Dinner and the Bush TV awaits to end another perfect Land Cruiser Mountain Park day. Land Cruiser Mountain Park is about two hours north of Brisbane, near Jimna, north of Kilcoy. It's open all year round and is the perfect four-wheel drive weekend getaway destination. You can gain access to the Motorama 4x4xMore Club by buying your 4x3 Motorama or just having it serviced there and there are plenty of bush and beach trips organised throughout the year.